I'm at JWA Tooling in Leicester. This company has gone through a huge investment programme recently. I'm with Pete Wood here. Pete, one of your investments has been this uh, Harrison machine behind us, this 1400XC from Colchester Machine Tool Solutions. Slightly different, isn't it? Why this style of machine tool? Well, for us, we were looking for something a bit different from what we normally do. Uh, we've, we've often suffered in the past not being able to offer certain diameters of parts to customers. This, this opens a few doors for us. Uh, because this is a perfect blend between uh, a manual machine, which you've, you've got all the, uh, the hand wheels and everything in place to use it in that way, and a full CNC machine. You can use it either or. Was that part of your decision as well, to give you that versatility? Absolutely, yeah. We, we, do, uh, we, we don't do a lot of manual, manual turning, but uh, when we do, it's, it's really handy. Um, so, yeah, it's perfect for that. And also, we're going to have a look in detail in a minute and talk about the program inside of this and how, how flexible that is. But the machine itself has a, has a turret on it. You've got an eight-station turret. Often we see these machines flatbed lays with tool posts. What's the benefit of that for you? Uh, it enables some live tooling, so we, we, can, we can mill on it as well, which is, which is great. Um, we, we have a few jobs where we do a bit of turning and it goes through a milling machine for, for like a hole in the side or a slot putting in. We can now do this in one operation on this machine. Um, Were you considering in this purchase then a slot, a slant bed lathe and maybe a manual machine, but this sort of fitted perfectly in between the two? Absolutely. We, we, initially, we were looking for a, a new manual machine to replace one of our older ones, and then the, 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 we start seeing the benefits of this. We know the guys at Colchester, uh, the 600 group, and, uh, and they sold us the, well, basically did a demo, and we were sold straight away. Uh, I'm going to talk to Ben in a minute about how, how the programming side of this works. Um, your business recently, I said about an investment program. Um, just tell us a little bit about this, this recent journey. Okay, so uh, in the last 15 months, we've spent about one and a quarter million. Uh, we've bought a new factory, we've bought a new lathe, three new milling machines, three new wire cutters, uh, a new MRP system, a new server, uh, three new guys to, to help us run it. Uh, and we've got a lot of space now, empty space as you can see, but uh, we're looking forward to filling that up in the future. So although this is a brand new machine tool, it's quite a small small part of your investment programme, isn't it? Uh, well done on that, Pete. I'm going to bring Ben into this now. Um, Ben, this is fascinating to me because I've been used to using full CNC machines in the past as well as, as, as manual turning, but this machine you can do both, can't you? Can you maybe give us a, an overview of, of, of the screen that you're on now uh, and, and the functionality that you're using? Yeah, so it's, it's basically exactly the same as a manual, so you can operate it doors open exactly like a bloke coming off of a normal Colchester lathe. So you've literally just got your hand wheels for X and Z, you got your speed control, you got your on, you're off. Everything's the same really. It's not what about the safety element? About if you if you can you can you set it so it, it'll only feed at a certain rate or to a cer certain point? Yeah, so say you, you want to turn down some step diameters and you obviously you be here all day taking them step by step. You can then go into the the manual part of the machine and literally just draw out the what you want to turn down. So on here you can see that we're turned down to a diameter and we want it to be 24 mil, 60 mil long and it can create a can cycle so we can even just select that and choose our depth of cut, how much we want to leave on for finishing and it just creates a can cycle for you. So you, you, you're then securing the fact that you know you're not going to uh, go too far, turn too much or yeah. Have, have an accident. Yeah, and, and it just eliminates human error. So say you've turned a diameter or you've just finished a diameter, accident you wind the wrong way and end up going into the shaft. This will prevent you. You can wind the wheel and it won't go into the diameter. You can only come away from like this boxed area that it creates. Okay, let's, let's, before we talk about the CNC element and the manual guide, which we're going to have a very quick demo on, talk to me about the operator or the ease of the operation of this machine, the fact that this... Uh, control moves along, uh, setting the tools in the turret. Is it has has it been um, uh, you know uh, easy for you to get to grips with? Oh yeah, yeah, very easy. Um, it's it's literally just it's like setting up a, a multi-post tool post. Just think of it like that. So just setting up your datum tool, for example, we can go into here and in our tool. So currently we're on tool one, which is our datum tool. We can have any tool as our datum. So you'd literally just tool datum and that's it. That's set that tool as the datum. And then say we've just manually faced the front face that's going to be our datum. We're just going to Z, click datum with our datum tool. And it's just this datum tool, set your datum, 
So that the, soft, the software looks dead easy. What about the intervention with the hardware set, putting the tools in the turret, positioning it all? Again, straightforward? Yeah, it's straightforward, but then we are going into all, like the automatic mode because there's moving parts and you know health and safety, then the doors have to be shut. Anything that you're having to use through an automatic system. So when it goes to turn down, that can cycle, the doors have to be shut. But it's essentially, you could look at it like two machines. You could get a job in and you want to operate it, just, just turn a diameter and face a part. You can do it manually and you walk away yeah. with the doors open. But if you want to go into full CNC mode, which we're going to look at now, you can do that too. Let's have a look, um, Ben, at manual guide here and some of the, the can cycles and the things that you like about this, because this has all been new to you. Yeah, so it's just a simple switch to change it from the manual side into the CNC side. So you got your hand for the manual cycle for your CNC. So just like that, it's flipped it into the CNC part of the machine. If we go into our manual guide, this is uh, basically what the Colchest Harrison Alpha like. It's what they pride themselves on, this new manual guide thing. So it, ju it just helps us create a program just block by block. Show us some of the screens and some of the things that you can, like that, you know, I know there's drilling, milling, turning, all those things you can quickly access. Yeah, so if we go into our edit mode, as you though you were like writing a program and we just go through, we created a block of program just in simple G code and M code for every tool change. So we just go into start, we wrote a program for tool call, so we just insert that and it will put it into the beginning of the program. And then all we do is just fill in the missing gap. So the tool, the speed, uh, maximum speed, all that. So you do need a little bit of knowledge on machining? Yeah, you, you need to know what uh, you want it to do, but... Going beyond there, tell us the next screens. So say you want to turn down a diameter or rough a diameter, we then go into the cycle mode. So within the cycle, it splits it into loads of different options. So if you're turning an outer rough, are you roughing an internal diameter? Are you doing multiple facings? And does this apply to every operation that the drilling, uh, milling, um, reaming, whatever it is you want to do? Yep, all goes through everything. So in the top, we've got a turn in, we've got residual machining, grooving, threading, hole machining, uh, auxiliary as well. So how quickly, uh, in reality, can you create simple programs? It's, it seems like by using this sort of software on this machine, to get this running in full CNC mode, a matter of minutes if the part's quite simple. Yeah, well, for example, like we've we got some discs in the machine at the moment, which we're having to do multiple facings and finish. So, you know, you'll be there, and we've got like 90 discs to do. So we'll be there all day doing it. But with this, just doing a, a turn in face roughing program, we could do write a program in five minutes and then that's it it just runs all day brilliant thank you very much ben uh what solution here at jwa tooling i've known the harrison models and the harrison brands the alpha machines for many years generally manual machines uh, but now you've got obviously a turret here and a turret with the milling capability on it so you can uh, eliminate taking parts off this machine and putting them onto a machining center you can do everything in one hit in full cnc mode but not only that as Ben's perfectly illustrated here today, you can quickly put a job on and use it as a manual lathe. Uh, what a versatile solution here in action at JWA Tooling.